Let's compare image AI upscaling. Hello, my friends, how are you doing? In this video, I compare real ESR GAN with Waifu XL. I did not come up with that title with Gigapixel AI. Real ESR GAN runs on Google Colab, at least this version. Down here, it says there's also a portable version for Windows, Linux and Mac OS that you can download on the GitHub repo. You can see some examples here. You can use this with line art. You can use it with photos. You can use it with text and graphics. Now with the Google call up, what you always need to do is to connect to the Google GPU basically. And then you have to go through the setup and upload the images and then through the inference and then through the visualization. And then of course you have to download it, which will turn it into a zip file. For each of these, you need to click these play buttons and that takes some time. So that can be a little bit slow. Also, what I found out is that you cannot upscale high resolution images. I have tried to upscale an image that is an upscale already from mid journey and it did not work. So this is probably better for stable diffusion files because they are small resolution to begin with. And there seems to be some face enhancement. This is something that Gigapixel AI, for example, is not going to do. Now I want to show you here the output. So this is the original image. This has a resolution of 512 by 640. So this is a stable diffusion render. And the angel, as you can see here, already invites you to like that video. <laughs> that would be nice. You can see the face is a little bit messed up. It's not completely correct, but we do have some details here in the wings that are very nice. Let's go here to the ASR GAN upscale and you can see that the face has been massively beautified. It has been corrected. It looks really good. So for that, I really like it and I would use that and then combine it later with another upscale. However, when you look here at the wings, they seem to have no detail in this up render. And when we go down here, this looks pretty good. The skin looks pretty smooth, but down here, it also feels a little bit featureless. Overall, it looks pretty good, but the problem is jumping through all the hoops with the connection and setting it up. All of that takes time. So if you make a lot of images, I'm not sure this is a great solution for that. Now let's go over to Gigapixel AI. This is by Topaz Labs. It costs about $100. So it's not free, of course, but after you have bought the software, you can upscale as much as you want in any resolution, any kind of image. And also here on the right side, you can define the value of the upscaling. You can choose from these buttons here, but you can also set your own upscale value. If you want to go by 1.25 or 1.75, the AI will do it for you, no problem. Then you can see here you have different AI models, a standard model, a line model, an art and CG model, a low resolution model, and a very compressed model for highly compressed files. Then below that, you have more settings. You can set them to auto. So let the software decide what's going to happen, or you can turn it off and adjust the noise suppression, which is pretty nice, and also remove blur from the image. Now, of course, blur is happening when you upscale and the details in the low resolution image are quite blurry in the sense that the pixels are going everywhere and you want to have a thin, straight, nice, crisp line. You can define it with this by setting the remove blur higher or lower. Down here, you also have reduced color bleed, which is also something that can happen and face refinement. Let's turn this on here. Actually, also down here, you can have a file list with as many files as you want. So you, if you have a batch render of a style that is very similar, you can just drag in 100, 200, 300 files if you want to set up everything and then click here on save image and it will go through every one of those and save it with the same 
settings. So this is what I did with my digital backdrops and I just could render all of them in one go. That was really amazing. When we click here on save image, we have additional settings. So we have different file types. The amazing thing here is you can turn the downloaded file also in a TIFF file, in a PHD file, in a DNG file. You can also select the color profile for your export and the directory where it should go. In addition to that, when you go to preferences, you can add the scaling mode to the file name. So after export, you know exactly what has happened. You can also add default prefixes and suffixes to the file name. So you know that this has batch rendered with Gigapixel AI. Now we are in Affinity Photo. On the right side is Gigapixel. On the left side is Real ESR again. And I have a mask for that that I can move. So we can see the different details. And personally, I would blend both of them together because as you can see here, on the right side, we have these beautiful details in the wings, but on the left side, we have this beautiful fixed face here. So both of them really have their benefits. By the way, a little pro tip here, what you can do to save some time, make this quicker, is to simply cut out the face from the low resolution version and just render that through real ESR again to fix the face and then mix this together with the Gigapixel AI upscale. Now let's come to the second comparison here. This is Waifu XL. This, as you can tell from the title, is made specifically for anime images, also manga images. You upload the file here. It takes a quite considerable time when you have high resolution images to render this to a bigger size. I really like the result. There is a nice improvement of the image. It's much sharper also. At the same time, it's true to the original. And what I also like is that they scan the content of that image. And then you can see over here, it's giving different tags to that on how much this is matching with the image. And this probably also tells the AI how to upscale. Now, how important that is for the actual image, I can't really tell. You can also see here, there's famous characters here from the anime and manga world. So they might even be improved more. Um, I'm not 100% certain about that. Let's go back to Gigapixel AI. I've set it to art and CG. Automatic for these settings, the face refinement is off. Reduce color bleed is on. And when we move this across, you can see that the result is actually pretty solid. You can see how when you look here, these lines are very pixelated and then the Gigapixel AI is turned it in a really crisp line here. Also here on the nose, these details are pretty nice. Applying the same technique as before, we have the Waifu XL upscale on the left side and the Gigapixel AI upscale on the right side. And when we move this across, you can actually see that the Waifu XL upscale is nicer, smoother and has a much nicer expression and a certain form of inner radiance. So it just feels much more alive. And especially when you look at the eyes here, this kind of smoothness and expression you get here from Waifu XL is actually a lot better and a lot nicer than what we see from Gigapixel AI. Although the Gigapixel AI result is by no means bad and also is a lot faster. One more thing I want to point out here is the nose ridge, which in Waifu XL really looks nice with this little reflection here on the tip, while on Gigapixel AI we have created this big line here and there's no little reflection on the nose tip. So this version here of the nose looks a lot nicer and cuter than what Gigapixel AI has created. Last but not least, I want to compare different versions of a photo of myself from years ago. This one is very low resolution and highly compressed at the same time. You can see here the original, there's a lot of color bending and fragments here in the background really doesn't look good. And this is what Gigapixel AI has created. Now, this isn't great either, to be honest. It looks kind of like a painting, especially the beard hair 
looks a little bit strange, but this is with a very compressed model. Let's go to the low resolution model. Now with the low resolution model, you can see that the color bending here in the background remains, but the beard looks a lot more natural and nicer, also the hair. Here we have the same resolution of the image, but a better compression that doesn't reduce the image so much. And you can see that the result is a lot better. I even switched from low resolution to standard here. Let's zoom into 100% and you can see that the results we are getting are actually quite nice. Even though here the hairs don't look 100% great, they look a little bit painterly for some reason. But when you look here at the skin on the nose and here on the cheeks and also the details in the eyes, that looks a lot better than before. And you can still play around with the settings down here to give a better improvement. Now for the next one, we have a medium resolution of 1224 by 1632 and we are upscaling it four times. When you look at the face, especially the hair here for the beard, you can see that in the original, these all kind of flow together and are mushy. But when we have upscaled it, you actually can see every single hair individually. The same goes here for the beard where the hairs have now much more detail and look individual. When we zoom into 100%, you can see in the before and after that the skin has very nice details and you can make out every individual hair in here. Even though the hair looks a little bit strange, here we are again in Affinity Photo for the final comparison. And on the left side, I have the original image with the original resolution, which is actually smaller than the Gigapixel AI version. So you can see the original image had a resolution of 2448 by 3264 while the Gigapixel AI version that is upscaled from a lower resolution version of this photo has now a resolution of 4896 by 6528. So when we look at this, on the left side is the old photo from the original old camera and on the right side is the Gigapixel AI upscale. You can actually see that even though we used a smaller resolution than the original image, it has added more crisp details to the beard, to the eyes and also in some parts to the skin. Although when you look here at the original skin, especially in this part, it looks nicer with more detail while the Gigapixel AI version made everything rather smooth. However, when we compare this to a second Gigapixel AI render where I have lowered the noise suppression and the blur removal, you can see that the skin actually retains a lot more detail and looks more natural. So you can get a lot better results by playing around with the different settings inside of Gigapixel AI. So that's it for the comparison. Let me know in the comments what you think is the best version for AI upscaling or what you are using for your AI upscales. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.